heart disease is still the leading cause of death in the United States. And believe it or not, for most people, problems begin when they're children. CBS 2's Dr. Max Gomez says that's why doctors are making some recommendations that may surprise you tonight. Doc? Yeah, that's right, Maurice and Christine. You know what has experts truly worried is that childhood obesity has doubled in the past 30 years. And most of those kids already have risk factors for heart disease. That's why pediatricians say your child should be getting screened for things most people associate with middle age. Yep, this is what it looks like. Almost three-year-old Julia Marcus is having her blood pressure taken. And when she's a little older, she'll also get her cholesterol levels checked. While most people think of those tests as something for older adults, mom knows why they're important for Julia. It would seem more appropriate for someone a little older, but I understand that you would want to check levels at a young age to make sure everything's on track. In fact, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends routine cholesterol screening of children between the ages of 9 and 11, and again between 17 and 21. It also recommends regular blood pressure screenings for children with symptoms of high blood pressure or an underlying health problem that could cause hypertension, like obesity. Of the adolescents that are overweight or obese, up to 60% of them have at least one risk factor for cardiovascular disease. So that includes prediabetes, diabetes, hypertension, and cholesterol problems. It's that childhood obesity issue that doctors are really worried about because it sets kids up for a lifetime of problems. Obesity in childhood leads to obesity in adulthood. And very early, children begin to have the cardiovascular changes that are going to get worse and worse as they get older. This idea behind early detection of high blood pressure and cholesterol is not to put kids on medication, but to educate them and their parents about lifestyle changes that can reduce their risk. The earlier we know children have high cholesterol, hypertension, other problems from obesity, we can get in immediately and start to change their life so they don't go on to have the adult problems of heart disease, diabetes. And if you wait until adulthood, it's much harder for lifestyle changes to have an impact on risk factors. Interestingly, one study found that identifying cardiovascular risk factors in children may even predict their parents' heart disease risk. After all, the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Christine? All right, Dr. Max, thank you.